Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you on a fabulous Friday. I got to tell you what, winter's here, and it's going to feel like it the next seven days brings five separate Alberta Clippers to the region. Not all of us will see them every day, but it's going to maintain that wintry feel to the northern plains. Your forecast begins right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, as a huge thank you to you, 75,000 of you have clicked the follow button on my Facebook page, and I got to say thanks. So I said a long time ago, the 75,000th would get a prize, and that's Alexis McGuire. Alexis, or if you know Alexis, let her know. I'm waiting to hear from you. Drop me a message on Facebook Messenger, please, and I will be in touch with how we can get that prize to you. Congratulations and thanks to each and every one of you. Stay tuned. There's a lot more exciting news and prizes coming up here on Hutch's Weather. Now, let's get right to the details in your forecast. The morning temperatures are going to be a little on the cool side, passing snow showers through the region here and there. Not all of us will see them, and the best chance may be more south than it will be up to the far north. That northerly breeze, drier air, temperatures cooler there to start your day. But in the teens to 30s across parts of central South Dakota, where things will be much milder. And in your afternoon, temperatures almost steady for most of us, but more of us will be seeing the north winds by the late part of the day and temperatures in the 30s won't be lasting long down in South Dakota. Snow showers will be mainly sliding off to the east as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. And how much snow are we talking on Friday? We'll check this out. One to three inches out in western parts of North Dakota, eastern Montana, particularly northeastern Montana, sliding in to south central North Dakota, north central South Dakota, and then southern Minnesota is where we'll see things moving later today. Not hugely impactful snow, but slow it down. It could be quite slippery. I said five out of seven days. Here you go. Friday, clipper number one today. Uh, most of us will see under uh, an inch here in the Fargo area and points south. Uh, a, a chance of flirting with an inch for you along the South Dakota border. Another system, mainly in western North Dakota, particularly southwest North Dakota and south central North Dakota, a chance for a trace to two more inches of snow with falling temperatures for the big parade. Stop out the big parade of lights in Fargo, North Dakota. That's right, you and you, I want to see you there. Hutch may have some sweet treats for those of you, and I hear there may be a jolly elf. All right, very cold. That's why we got purple on Sunday. 14 below the coldest morning of the season so far in Fargo. Moorhead, and then Hutch has another clipper on Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to say that again, seeing different things in different places. Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, high pressure moves in, and temperatures kind of bottom out just a little bit down into the teens. And by the time it's all said and done, we're not done yet, because look behind my big old melon. Watch me move my melon now. Look at that. Another clipper chance on Thursday. None of them look huge, but many of these, particularly Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, could be pretty impactful. So I'll keep you apprised of this. There could be changes to the timing and track of these later storms in particular, but the next two for today and for tomorrow don't look as bad. Now, here's a look at that snowfall track for today. Measurable snow as we go through Saturday. This is a Saturday storm. So if you're heading out to the parade, maybe a few flurries in the area, but there will be some chill in the air for sure, but we'll all have warm hearts spending it together in the FM area. Here is a look at the next seven days. Don't be scared, but this clipper track of five out of seven days with some snow could leave areas with a good four to six more inches of snow than you have on the ground right now. And it looks like northern North Dakota, most of Minnesota, all the Great Lakes and the Rocky Mountain West, high suspect highly suspect there at seeing some new fresh flakiness out there. Don't pay any attention to these amounts of snow. And by the way, with all of the snow and the cold weather, we're making ice, but we got to remind you to please check that ice depth. No ice is 100% safe, particularly in the early season here as it's just forming. This snow can affect the rate at which that ice builds up. So keep that in mind. Be safe out there. It is getting to that season. People are asking me, and I'll keep you up to date right here. You are watching. Hutch's weather. Thanks to every one of you, 75,000 strong and growing faster uh, than a fungus on Hutch's toe right now. This has been a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Hutch's weather.